you can change your destiny through prayer. A look at Jabez's story under God's glory. Welcome to another Faith Clinic Fellowship podcast with me evangelist Terry Brunson God's servant and your friend. Our topic for this podcast session is, You Can Change Your Destiny Through Prayer. A look at Jabez's story under God's glory. If you can become rich enough to pay attention to this teaching, you can change the outlook on your destiny by an uplook to God in a special prayer. The prayer of Jabez is not known by many. It is tucked away in the Bible in a list of unsuspected names. I will read. 1 Chronicles 4 verses 9 to 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, because she birthed him in pain. Jabez rebelled against his name and called on the God of Israel, saying in prayer, Bless me O Lord indeed, enlarge my coast, place your anointed touch upon me that I may find favor to know that you are with me, and by your power keep me from evil influences that would grieve me. And God granted that which Jabez requested. The name Jabez like I said, is not well known, but Jabez's story was put in the Bible to teach a lesson on how God can change a story and by his glory for our good. We all have a story. There can never be glory without a story. The glory in destiny speaks of where God can take us despite our history. God is at work to put glory in our story. The glory over the story is where God flips the story by his glory for our good. God is in the business of changing destiny by turning a bad story through his glory into something greater than the story was destined to be. God is going to use Jabez's story to show his glory on how to change a destiny. God's aim in every story is a destiny change by his glory. God can change a story of pain into a glory of peace. Jabez had a story that needed God's glory. Jabez had circumstances surrounding his name that many judged him by. Jabez's name was tied to a history of pain and sorrow. Jabez's mother named him Jabez due to the pain and sorrow associated with giving birth to Jabez. So she named Jabez pain and sorrow and this labeled Jabez as a man of pain. As Jabez grew older, everybody associated him with pain and sorrow. Nobody thought Jabez would make it in life. The circumstances of Jabez's name brought him to a realization that he was destined for pain and sorrow in life. Thank God that bad circumstance doesn't determine destiny. People many have our history, but God has our destiny. Where we are going is of more concern to God than where we have come from. Jabez was an ordinary man who prayed an extraordinary prayer to an extraordinary God and got extraordinary results. As Jabez matured, he decides to change this destiny connection to pain and sorrow. Jabez sought to throw off the label that his mother gave him. Jabez went to the Lord in prayer about making a destiny change. Jabez knew that there was power in prayer to change things. This is what made Jabez more honorable than his brethren in this long genealogy list. Jabez knew whatever begins in prayer will end in power. If there is a man or a woman to pray, there is a God to hear and answer that prayer. Destiny change begins with a communication with God. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I'll answer you. We will outline this teaching by PowerPoints. PowerPoint 1 Jabez in his focus. PowerPoint 2 Jabez in his faith. PowerPoint 3 Jabez in his finish. If you have any questions about the subject of your destiny as related to Jabez's prayer after reading this booklet, contact evangelist Terry Brunson and tell him your testimony on this matter. Faith Clinic, 267 770 4251. 6254N. Beechwood Street. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138. Email Terry Brunson61 at Yahoo. Com. PowerPoint 1 Jabez in his focus. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 says. Jabez called upon God saying. The term called and saying relates to Jabez's focus in having a talk with God in prayer. Jabez knew that his destiny change was connected to calling and saying in prayer. Jabez's golden key to changing his destiny was talking to God in prayer. Again I say, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren in knowing that prayer is the spiritual tool for a destiny change. If you don't like where you are in life, take a play from Jabez's focus and pray his way, for the Bible says. Luke 18 colon 1 men ought always to pray. 
1 Thessalonians 5 17 Pray without ceasing. Prayer is the key in the hand of faith that unlocks the door to God's storehouse of blessings. You won't miss if you work with this. You got to be near me to hear me on Jabez's focus on prayer. Prayer changes things. Psalm 21 verse 2 says, Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withheld the request of his lips. The wheel that squeaks gets the oil, and a close mouth won't get fed. The normal process for getting connected to God's blessings is by a prayer request. There is no such thing with God as an unspoken request, Philippians 4 verse 6. Jabez's focus in prayer was meaningful and specific, not wondering and general. Jabez requested to be blessed in need and in deed. In Jabez's case, prayer was not a nicety, it was a necessity. To Jabez prayer was not accidental, it was spiritually fundamental. No one should dare minimize what Jabez has to emphasize about being specific in making a prayer request indeed to tell the need to God. In challenging situations, prayer is not a risk, it's a relief. Prayer is the answer to every problem in life that connects us to a God that has a listening ear. Jabez was more honorable than his brethren because he knew this. Jabez's focus in prayer was to show that there is no secret to what prayer can do what it has done for Jabez, it can do for me and you too. Jabez knows that prayer can do anything that God can do, and God can do anything that may seem impossible. See Matthew 19 verse 26. Jabez called out to God in prayer for a destiny change when he said, Bless me indeed. An indeed blessing is a specific blessing. It's telling God what you want. Jabez's prayer was, Bless me indeed. Jabez was fed up with the pain associated with his name. What Jabez was praying for was a blessing that would reverse the name pain curse placed on him by his mother's experience. Jabez called out in prayer to be blessed with a destiny change from the overtone his mother glued to his name. Jabez means pain and sorrow. Jabez's outlook from his past story seemed bad by the label his mother placed on his name in pain and sorrow, but Jabez wouldn't accept that for his future. His story outlook was bad, but his future outlook seemed gooder and better to the letter. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? To my help. Cometh from the Lord, which neither sleeps nor slumbers from watching over. Them that look up to their God in prayer. May you too be blessed by looking up beyond the pain and sorrow of the story of your past, to look up to a future in power in God's glory for your good. God's blessing can change your story into glory to bring a change from pain to peace. I prophesy now to call the blessing of God to be connected to everything that is connected to you. May your fitness and health be blessed. May your finances be in wealth blessed. May your family and yourself be blessed. In Jesus' name. Do you have a name label that you want prayer to change? Has someone name labeled you and it's causing pain in your soul? Thank God that you can learn a lesson from Jabez on how to make a destiny change. We can pray to change our destiny from a name label that would grip us to flip us. Prayer can put us under God's anointing to turn our setbacks into comebacks, our hurts into hurdles, and our scars into stars. Just like Jabez we too can cry out for the fullness of God's blessings to shield us indeed. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous, with favor as a shield of protection. One day in God's favor is worth more than 1,000 days of labor. The favor of God can take a person from the ghetto unto the get more. Under God's favor income can be made more than outgo so that upkeep won't be the downfall. Under the favor of God, we get blessed by the best to make our financial want to line up with our economic can do. Instead of asking preachers to pray for us, we can learn to turn to Jabez's prayer and make it our prayer. If you don't know how to pray it, you can read it to yourselves and wait to be blessed. When things go crazy in life, we have the prayer of Jabez as a guide to pray and bless me, enlarge me, laid hands on me, and keep me from evil. Bless me, enlarge me, anoint me, and keep me from evil on God. The Jabez Prayer to Share The favor of God is the highest blessing that can be bestowed on earth. The blessing that Jabez sought was to change his destiny to embrace God's best to be blessed. Jabez understood that those things associated with his name were in the natural, 
and things in the natural are always subject to change by the supernatural blessings of God. Proverbs 10 verse 22. Poverty is in the natural. Pain is in the natural. Sorrow is in the natural. Sickness is in the natural, and they all are subject to change by God's blessing. When the natural meets the power of the supernatural a change in the natural is in order. Natural things are subject to change when the supernatural power of prayer steps in. When the natural and the supernatural collide, it makes an explosive power for change. Jabez prayed that the Lord would also enlarge his coast. Jabez was being tailored by God to go beyond places he never dreamed he could go except under God's favor. Favor is found by prayer and is activated by faith. Favor is where God enlarges by taking us beyond where we cannot take ourselves. God knows how to enlarge because He is in charge of every situation. Promotion is God's enlargement by favor to lift us to where we belong higher than we are now. Psalm 75 verse 6 says promotion is from God. God promotes by blessings of favor more than labor. God's promotion can take one further than pain and sorrow can limit them in being left behind. God's favor leaves pain in the dust behind us. Jabez also called for the hand of God to be placed upon him by an anointing covering. When the hand of God stretches out over a condition, a change is brought to a manifestation as a conclusion of the matter. God's hand is mighty to reverse any curse and to give rest unto life's stress and mess. When healing in the body is in need, God's hand indeed stretches to work a miracle by the spirit of faith. See Galatians 3 verse 5. When money is funny and change is strange. It is possible for the hand of God to work a miracle on our account to increase or our amount. This seems crazy to doubters of God's blessings, they know nothing of experiencing the hand of God by the spirit of faith. Doubters and powders are always do without her. PowerPoint 2 Jabez in his faith. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 says, Jabez called on God to bless him indeed to enlarge his territory by God's hand to be kept from evil influence. Jabez called out in faith by request. 1. Bless me indeed. 2. Enlarge my territory. 3. Anoint me by thy hand. 4. Keep me from evil. Take heed to notice that Jabez sought God first before he asked for the four blessings. Psalms 9 verse 10 says, They that know God will put faith only in him and God will not forsake them that seek after him. Jabez spoke up front in his prayer about who he sought first in priority. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 says, Jabez called on God. Jabez sought God before he sought the blessing. Jabez knew that God must always be sought first before asking for things. The object of faith is well defined in outline as F equals forsaking. A equals all. I equals I. T equals trust. H equals him equals God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Jabez was going after him the rewarder before going after the reward. In desiring to be blessed, always go after God first. Seeking God first was Jabez's top priority knowing that the blessings of God will hunt him down when he seeks God first. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 7. When seeking to get blessed of God, make it priority to put God first before asking God to bless you. Jabez knew the priority in what to put first in the asking to be blessed. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 says, Jabez called on God to bless him, enlarge his territory, put his hand on him to walk in favor to be kept from evil influence that would grieve him. Question, Jabez called on who first? The priority in being blessed is to seek God first before seeking what God can bless us with. Before we pray for that house, that car, that job, or that money provision, let's seek God first. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these. Things shall be added unto you. That means that God must be the first and foremost object of what we seek and then all things will fall in line behind this main priority. The spiritual must be sought before the material. Right now God wants us to seek Him first. 
The day is here for us to get this clear to be blessed beyond our material quest. When we seek God first, that is when God will set our request in order and He will bring that thing we need. Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, Now unto Him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Faith power can work in us to seek God. Faith power puts God up front to meet our need at last. Many people have stinking thinking that God blesses when we ask for a thing. Not so, we have to know Jabez's secret. Seek God first. Many people are not blessed because they got their priority on seeking a thing before they seek God. Many people lack a true working concept of the power of faith to seek God first. The power that I am speaking of is available to build faith, to seek after God in priority of faith. Only when we seek God first will He then open a blessing in reward. If God is just looked at as a genie in a bottle to grant wishes or run errands by our request to fulfill His promises, and we have no earnest quest in seeking God first, yet we want God to bless us, we lose focus and faith's object. Always put God first in making all requests toward heaven. PowerPoint 3 Jabez in his finish. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 says, And God gave Jabez what he requested. Jabez got his prayer answered. God has an answer to every prayer that is prayed. When the thing being prayed for is not right, God's answer is no. When the timing of the prayer is not right, God's answer is slow. When the person doing the praying is not right, God's answer is grow. But when everything is all right in God's sight and in God's might, the answer is go. The prayer of Jabez is simple in nature, but it packs a punch of power that is available to us who desire to change our destiny. There is no secret to what a prayer like this can do, what it has done for Jabez, it can do the same for us too. Nothing lies outside the reach of prayer, except that which lies outside the will of God. Real prayer can do anything that God can do, and God can do anything that may seem impossible to us. When we learn to pray like Jabez, we won't miss when we work with this. When the outlook in life seems bad, try the uplook in prayer, it's always good. Question, would you like to change your destiny? If you would take this opportunity to write Evangelist Brunson to tell him, and tuck in your best gift of financial support payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship 6254 N Beechwood Street Philadelphia, Pennsylvania 19,138. Let me close in prayer, Lord Jesus, find this message on destiny on the hearts of your faithful believers. May all who have read this booklet say that everlasting, yes to Jesus and step into a new destiny of faith and be saved now. In Jesus' name, Amen. You have been listening to a Faith Clinic Fellowship Bible podcast. Faith Clinic Fellowship is a God anointed outreach to gather whosoever will respond to God's drawing to Jesus Christ. All corresponding in questions and Bible interests can be mailed to Faith Clinic Fellowship 6254 North Beechwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19138. Email is terrybrunson61 at yahoo.com. We have a cash app for taking up an offering of support, cash app dollar sign Terry Brunson 61. That is cash app dollar sign T-R-R-Y-B-R-U-N-S-O-N 61. Sister Grace our Faith Clinic Fellowship podcast announcer has more news that you can use to support this podcast. Here is Sister Grace. Until next time always remember that you don't have any problem. All you need is faith in God. Hello podcast listener. I am Sister Grace the Faith Clinic Fellowship podcast announcer. I have some news that you can use on how you can help support the podcast outreach mission. We have a cash app that you that are will can send an offering of money support. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more too. Cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61. Your donation will leave your hand, but it will never leave your life. It will go into you future too to world a blessing in your favor is by the hand of God. Your offering is like a seed that will bloom into a harvest in your expectation. What do you expect from God? You are going to have to sow to grow it. Healing help, miracle money blessings. 
you can decree a thing, and it shall be established to happen all because you decided to give a seed faith vow of ministry support. You can't buy a blessing, but you can sow towards of God miracle harvest. John 3 verse 27 says God don't work nothing from heaven until something leaves the earth. John 3 verse 27 A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. You can be given a blessing by a seed gift of support. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61 If you desire to rise up to the Rolex style of living, you're going to have to come off of the Timex way of giving. Make an uncommon vow of faith in money for an expected harvest. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. This is Sister Grace the Faith Clinic Fellowship announcer saying God is ready to bless all you that are ready to give. Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all it shall be measured to you again. That is Luke 6 verse 38. And Job 22 verses 27 to 28 says, you shalt make your prayer unto God, and he shall hear you. And when you reach in your pocket to pay a vow offering of support, you will also be able to decree a thing in a supernatural way and say what you want God to do for you. And it shall be established unto you in the way you say. That's what Job 22. 27 to 28 says word for word. Many are desirous to have from God without a sacrifice of money to his outreach cause to save souls to Jesus. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 says it is God who gave you money to help establish his covenant of salvation in in the earth. Psalm 50 verse 5 says that we can gather our money together to give what we can. Our little can become much placed in the hand of God to make a covenant by a sacrifice pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, or more to cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61. Faith Clinic is committed to absolute financial accountability in using your donation gift to reach as many people as possible with the concept of faith in Jesus Christ to help people receive that which they believe they can have, do, and be in faith's ability through God. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign t e r r y b r u n s o n 61. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. Faith is like scotch tape. You cannot see it when you put it on, but you know it is there holding whatever is broken together. Use the scotch tape of faith to apply it to you broken situations. Until next time keep perfecting your faith in Jesus Christ. So long for now. We pray your return.